Thank you, Kit. Well, first off, we'd love to thank uh, Google for their stewardship of uh, Kubernetes and opening it up. That's uh, really been a fantastic technology for us. Uh, let's go to the next slide here. So here at Sappho, you know, what we do is we make, what we call it is we make work software work. And basically, we create infrastructure that deploys inside uh, companies uh, on-premise and cloud systems, and we figure out all the events that are interesting to each person and send it to them as a stream of cards. And Internally, we call it Google Now for the enterprise, and we think it's really exciting. And we use a combination of integration, we run on the existing infrastructure, and uh, machine learning, of course. And really what we're doing is inverting enterprise software workflows. And you know, my co-founder and I came from CBS, the television network, where we, see, we were C-level executives, and we rolled out a ton of new software. We modernized all the infrastructure there. And you know, what we found was you know, people hated using enterprise software, basically. And you know, I'm, I was guilty of this myself. I was the CIO. I had access to everything. But if I needed something and I was an intermittent user of a system, I would just email the people that were using that system on a daily basis. And we realized that even when people had access to systems, they weren't actually using the software. And there was a lot of shadow IT where people were emailing stuff around and sharing spreadsheets. And so we, at Sappho, we think it's really interesting to find these deep enterprise events, figure out who they're relevant to, send them push notifications or cards in a stream, you know, where people can click on it, get a nice detail of what they need to know, and even have an action that they can perform right through to a transactional system. And this totally changes the way people work with their information. And this is how we work with stuff in our consumer lives, from Facebook, Twitter, Google Now. So, you know, one of the most important things we learned at CBS and, you know, other large companies is that the stuff has to be super secure and it has to be compatible. So we built everything so it could deploy on-premise inside of an existing Java infrastructure, connect to somebody's existing Active Directory or LDAP, and then the way the clients connect is, you know, a native app that wraps HTML that goes right into the infrastructure just like a desktop app. And this was fine and great, and you know, honestly, we get through security and compliance at Fortune 10 companies even in half an hour, because it's built to fit straight in to an existing infrastructure or a private cloud. The problem we ran into is the deployment, you know, we want it to be 15 minutes, and sometimes it was, but you know, a lot of times it wasn't. You know, it'd be like, oh, you have to change your Java heap size, you know, oh, the app server can't connect to the right database. <laughs> it was just, you know, you're running the wrong version of Java. It's the wrong version of the JDBC driver. It was just, you know, the usual on-premise kind of living nightmare. And, you know, there was a long time where people would say, well, just use a, a VM, right? But, you know, nobody wants to run a VM because it has a different operating system they run internally or what have you. So this was a huge challenge for us. And, you know, this is why we love Kubernetes. You know, there's no more complicated installs. We give people their YAML file and that's it. And it makes it so easy. Um, and the real power that we see is, you know, I'm a little older maybe than some of the other presenters. You know, I come back from the on-premise days. And on-premise, you know, it was a nightmare in that you couldn't get updated easily. People would install it and they would never update their software. You know, but it did have a lot of benefits, you know. Your database was right there. You could get data in and out of it really easily. You know, you could provision it and you had real visibility in the costs. And, you know, but the challenge was it would just sit and get stale. And then along comes SaaS, and now you always have up-to-date software, but getting your data out can be a nightmare. You know, like Salesforce, you know, charges on API calls, the APIs are inconsistent, you know, and every company now is trying to get all this data and put it together in a data warehouse, and it's just, it's really, really painful. And then as a buyer of the software, you know, one of the big shifts that happened is, you know, with on-premise, you would use something called capital expense, CapEx, to buy the software. And yeah, you would pay up front, but you could depreciate it, and it would hit what you know, Wall Street calls your earnings, or EBITDA. But you know, with SaaS, it's all OPEX, and people were like, you know, so it hits your, affects your earnings, and people are like, well, it's fine, because you're only paying for what you use, you know, and you can scale up and down. Well, look, when you're buying the SaaS stuff at scale, and I bought a lot of it at CBS, that's actually not the case. You know, what you have to do is do multi-year contracts, you have to define the number of users you're going to use, who has read access, who has write access, and, you know, commit to the money, and even maybe sometimes give the money up front. And so it was basically, I was like, this is exactly like buying on-premise. So one of the things we love about containers as a service, and we're running, running it up at Google Cloud and Google Container Engine, is we can launch containers on behalf of a customer and manage them and update them, 
but they own their data in Cloud SQL or their own database. And we think this is like a fascinating evolution where the vendors can now offer you know, a service with uh, you know, maintained software and the customer owns their own data and they even see the expense of, main, of running the containers. So the real power of Kubernetes is you know, we have the nice simple YAML file that deploys Sappho. And this includes, you know, the pod has, you know, a Nginx reverse proxy, it can have, you know, two Tomcat containers, you know, a database, a master-slave configuration, you know, versus, you know, let's, uh, let's you know, be nice to, to the competition. It's, it's, you know, it's not something that's easy, you know, on some other very, very popular web services. And, you know, I've been, you know, an Amazon user since the beta, I think back in 2002 or 2003 for EC2. And, you know, it's basically for the same user they were targeting back then. So Kubernetes, it makes the deployment process so easy that we basically wanted to make this technology available for everybody. And so today we're launching Sappho for Google Sheets. And what Sappho for Google Sheets is, is an add-on to Google Sheets that lets an end user basically launch a Kubernetes container running Sappho in the Google Cloud. And so it's just as easy as SaaS. And what this lets you do is let people who are running spreadsheets and sending data around now be able to do personalized notifications to their stakeholders, where people can just open up an app and look at a stream of cards of the relevant events. So a lot of stuff is tracked in spreadsheets, you know, that's where people are collating information. And so we think this is magical because, you know, with Kubernetes now, people can launch these containers and the data is not escaping the enterprise. It's running within the Google for Work domain. So you can work without having to get IT buy-in but within compliance of the IT regimen. So we're not pulling this data, like financial data or stuff like that, and moving it into some SaaS system that would have to get approved. So let's see it work. And we could cut over to, ah, here we go. So this is our uh, Google Sheets add-on. So basically you just click install, and the Wi-Fi has been a little flaky, so I pre-populated it all. And basically the way it works is you get an add-on to the right. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen, but the, uh, you know, Google Apps has a whole ecosystem now that lets you add uh, your own technology. And you basically select a square of data inside your spreadsheet, and you can then launch a container. And we walk you through it, and basically it's a few steps. You have to go and set up your billing, you have to turn on a few APIs, get your project ID, and then that's it. From there, we go off and we create you know, the Sappho pod for you. And then manage it and update it on your behalf. And once you have that set up, then you're inside our tool, and at this point it's our tool running on your container in your infrastructure, and you can build your app. And we build a little default one for you that maps the spreadsheet. So here you have a table, it's thumb scrollable, and Anyone who's in that Google for Work domain can download the Sappho app from iTunes or Android Play, log in, we validate that they're part of that domain, and then they can access the apps that have been made for that domain. And if the demo gods are with us, the Wi-Fi is still working, and I can click on tabs, so there's a chart, and then also a stream. And this is the most interesting part. Rather than trying to figure out what's changed and what's interesting, in that spreadsheet, you can set your own threshold for notifications, what you want to listen to, what's interesting, what should elevate up to a push notification. And if we could click back over to the uh, slide deck. Ah, perfect, thank you. So what Kubernetes really does for us is it, it lets us make enterprise apps work for anybody, and we're really, really excited about it, because you know this combination of Hey, you can deploy this stuff, you're managing it, it's running on your infrastructure, we can update it for you, and you have this total control that you didn't have with SaaS, and we think this is incredibly attractive. And, you know, honestly, we think that Kubernetes is gonna change the way everyone is doing this. We're not the, gonna be the only people that are saying, hey, it is now easy for you to run your own software with your own systems, and we'll update it for you, but you control all of your data. And, you know, so the way we, we like to talk about, we wrote an article about this, we say goodbye SaaS, hello containers as a service. So, you know, thank you all for listening, and uh, check out the uh, Sappho for Google Sheets add-on. Thank you.